All right, I just pulled out of the barn the rear reel mower that goes on the National Mower Company tractor, and it is very rusty. I don't know if this can be restored or not. Remove the cover so I can so I can sand it down and paint it. that this is the mechanism that adjusts the reel against the cutting edge and if we loosen that up I can just take the reel itself out and not have to worry I can paint the rest of the frame let's give that a try There we go. Come on up. Beauty. So I went to Tractor Supply and I picked up uh, this Campbell Hulsfield uh, sandblasting gun. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, I picked up some sand. Uh, this is um, seems to be coal slag, um, and it's very very fine. I think. The next time I might get a little bit coarser, like or a medium, um, but you can see the results here. Got uh, most of the rust off. Some of it is down to bare metal in some places, like right there. Um, but I just wanted to get uh, the worst of the rust and and stuff off and. I'll give it a coat of spray paint to hopefully keep it from rusting any further. 
this is the reel all um, sandblasted and I'm going to put some spray paint on it use some rust-oleum just going to use a uh, primer gray and you can kind of see these things were not manufactured with uh, any amount of um, delicacy there's there's still um, some leftover weld material kicking around um, some old paint the welds are very spattery so there's little spatters of metal everywhere anyway hoping that uh, I can just put something on this to protect it a little bit So I have the real mower uh, partially assembled here. Uh, it's painted um, with some gray primer and I'm beginning to sharpen the blades. And the way I'm doing that is I have a uh, drill set up here um, with a little pin on the shaft and I can rotate using the electric drill I can rotate the uh, the drum the, the, with the reels on it uh, backwards against the bed knife and if I spread some valve grinding compound which is just uh, grit um, it will sharpen itself and it's already started to you can see uh, the the bed knife uh, it's a little bit shiny there uh, I'm just going to do a little bit more on this and hopefully it will be sharp enough to cut some paper. What I've discovered is uh, these adjustments uh, will adjust the reel closer to the bed knife and we need to adjust them the same on both sides and for some reason it gets very tight when I tighten the hinge bolt here uh, so I'm experimenting with that and getting the right correct the correct tightness uh, for the sharpening spinning very nicely. I'm going to tighten it down a little. Well, I've been grinding for some time and it really is takes a lot of patience. Um, but finally down to the paper test. And we'll see if this um, will cut some paper. Just like that, cuts paper along that edge. Put a piece of paper in there. Just like scissors, right against that edge. too bad. I might go a little bit more even and really hone it in.